On this episode of I Grew It, I Chew It, I tackle a pepper that stayed a mystery all the way until the end. Alright, so on this episode, I have a pepper that I got in a grab bag of seeds and I grew out the plant. The seeds were all BBG seeds. Uh, BBG peppers are unique. Um, they stand for bleeding bubblegum, BBG. Um, the bleeding part is the color of the pepper, no matter what color the pepper is, that color bleeds up into the stem, which is very unique to just these peppers. So if you get a jalapeno or even a habanero, habanero or orange, and then the stem green, simple, cut and dry. BBGs, the color of the pepper, no matter what it is, orange, red, that color seeps into the calyx and stem of the pepper. So here I have this pepper. And you can see how the color has bled from the pepper all the way into the stem. And if I hold it with this hand, you can see there's still a little bit of green. A little, little bit of green at the very tip. That's the part that connected to the plant. But all the color from the pod bled up into it. So it's a very unique type of pepper. Um, this pepper was a mystery. Like I said, I, got it, I had it as a grab bag of seeds. It could have been like one of five or six different kinds of BBG peppers. Once it grew out, I thought at first it was a yellow BBG because it, it started off as a vibrant yellow and I was like, oh, this was going to ripen too. Then I clipped it, left it on my windowsill, and I noticed it starting to get a little darker. Um, I noticed it also starting to soften. I was like, I don't know what I want to eat this. So then I, I popped it in the fridge. One or two days in the fridge, this thing took on, as you can see, almost a tangerine orange, definitely orange compared to yellow. Um, I have some other pods that I can definitely compare as yellow. This one took on. And I was like, I still don't know what this is. I have no idea what variety this could be. And Pepper Pod Nick reached out and said, you know what, I think that is a peach naga crossed with the BBG. And I Googled it, looked at the different pods that were posted, and this definitely fits the bill. The only thing is that it's a little stunted as far as size. This pod should probably be down to here, twice as long. Um, but I also grew this in a double cup. This, this is from a double cup. So if you go with the aquarium theory where pods, fish, aren't going to get any bigger than the environment they live in, this is probably proof because this guy stayed pretty small. But the other characteristics, the, the calyx, the size of the calyx, the pointy part of the bottom of the pod, the wrinkliness, uh, all those characteristics fall into the Naga peach, peach Naga mixed with the BBG. So I'm actually gonna save these seeds because I wanna see if I can get those bigger pods out of this. Uh, if I plant them either in, in a uh, crackety or bigger pot bigger than a red solo cup, but definitely 
and save the seeds for this. Okay, so. Going to... Peel off the Kelix. I'm going to cut this guy in half. He smells hot. Just gonna let you know that right now. I'm checking for seeds because I really want these seeds. You can see that there. This half has one seed. The other one I, I wouldn't count as being a good seed, but I'm going to try to save that one seed on this side. And this one's kind of iffy too because I see a little black or darkness in the center of that seed so it's kind of like may not be viable. But I am going to eat this half while I search for seeds in the other half. <clears throat> that half was warm, very fruity, but heat right off the bat and like quick. That's hot. Oh. I didn't bring anything to drink. Oh. Wow. Maybe it'll calm down. <gasps> no. <sighs> Heat is all around the back of my throat. <sighs> back of my throat. <sighs> Intense. It's about like maybe, maybe an eight or nine. Good fruity flavor, but intense heat. All over the mouth. <laughs> Definitely in the back. <laughs> oh.
Wow. That one hit me good. Wow. Still at about an eight on the heat. But a lot of uh, a lot of saliva production. Wow. Really surprised. Oh. Nose is starting to run. <laughs> He's calming down a little bit, but these hiccups. <sighs> I should have brought something to drink. Wow. So overall, pepper had great flavor. <gasps> Very fruity or citrusy. Right off the bat. And then the heat. <clears throat> the heat. The heat came in times two, like, I'm gonna mess you up with right now. It's fast and furious, oh. I could call this pot the Vin Diesel. Wow. No, I would recommend, if you're looking for a good heat, good burn, this pot is it. Wow. Still drooling. It's definitely coming down now. Hiccups are still coming quick, but heat itself <laughs> stayed really constant for a while now it's just slowly coming down still feel the roof of my mouth tongue like here oh, here. here in my throat oh <laughs> really surprised by that pod I bought the heat level it and the flavor. <clears throat> but I cannot shake these hiccups. Whew. Hoping I can get at least three or four more seeds out of that pod. I have one possibly viable seed. Possibly viable seed. I have to dissect the other half. I'm not going to eat it. It's, whoa. yeah, definitely gladly surprised with the heat on that pepper. So I'm hoping I can get some more se seeds out of it. Well, as I work through these hiccups the rest of the way, 
and his runny nose. Thank you for watching.